Thank you, Shelby. This is wonderful. Um, I will. Those of you that know Don know that he's extremely full of energy. So I will try to bring some of that energy, but don't hold me to his uh, quite his level of energy. So. Um, like Shelby said, I'm with the Small Business Development Center. I'm a business advisor. There's five or six of us at the office and we all have way different areas of expertise. And so that being the case, there's a lot of folks in this room and there's probably a vast variety of industries represented here, uh, which will require a vast variety of knowledge. And so if you guys want to come to us for some help, I may not be able to help you, but I guarantee one of the five people in our office can. And they've seen your problem and we've dealt with it before. And we frequently put our heads together and ask each other for advice. Hey, this client's got this going on. What can we do about it? Um, so please take advantage of us. We're a free service. We're here to help. Um, and my job today is just to kind of bring some thoughts into your mind that maybe you haven't thought of before. Um, because each, again, each person in here represents a different industry and a different business, and I can't tell you how to solve your problem, but I can kind of give you a root and a base that will help you in problem solving. So that's, that's what I come bringing for you today. So at the Small Business Development Center, we're always looking for ways to help local small business owners and entrepreneurs rethink, regroup, and restructure. This challenging time in our history's uh, civilization comes with a very specific set of problems for each business owner, anyone with a fantastic new idea, and you individually. I believe in transformational and intentional leadership. A vital component of that is creativity and outside the box thinking. In every possible situation, creativity is one of the most underrated characteristics in leadership today. Creativity can manifest itself in many different ways. It can also be exercised like a muscle to strengthen and enhance its usefulness. Sometimes creativity is not worked out in the ways that we anticipate. All too often we attribute creativity to the artist types and those in the realm of the humanities and fine arts. It is detrimental to pigeonhole specific characteristics to specific groups because the rest of us then unconsciously believe that we are exempt from that and it's only for those people. I'm a manager by trade and I've worked in all levels of management in restaurants for over 22 years. Positions like shift leader, assistant manager, general manager, single unit operator, designated multi-unit operator, and owner operator. And I would also tack onto that psychiatrist all the time. Um, I also consider myself an artist in the way I lead and the way I problem solve. I think it is vital that we personally and professionally see ourselves as more than others see us. This is the basis of progress. This is how we make an impact in our industries, whether that's a restaurant, any kind of retail, manufacturing, technology, or any other realm that business is conducted in. Allow me to give you some examples of creativity that I have found in unusual places for the purpose of sharpening your senses to the breadth of this idea and hopefully getting you hunting for it in places you would not normally look. 